Recently, my wife dialed 911, but it wasn't exactly for an emergency. I'm Kate. I'm Cass. We're from Alberta, Canada. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. This episode is brought to you by Smule, the makers of amazing musical iPhone and iPad applications. Like the all new, brand new app, Beatstream. This is when you take a song from your iTunes library on your phone and you play a rhythm based game on your phone. It's kind of addictive. So if you have our hair song in your iTunes library, you could play the song along with that, and we do ask that you download that on iTunes. As a matter of fact, we've just released an acoustic version on our main channel, so make sure you watch that. And exclusively for you community members, we've made the acoustic version totally free as an MP3 on the Redlink community. So, download it, Mythical Beasts. Now, my wife, bless her heart, I love her to death. That's great, that's, that's a nice arrangement. Let me just start by saying that. You love your wife, right? Um, but she dialed 911 the other day, and um, I think it was an inter inappropriate use of 911. But we'll get into exactly what happened after she dialed 911. Okay, okay. She called me first. I will say that she called me first, but I was busy. But you, you screened all of her calls. Is that what you're saying? No, I was in the middle of something, and it wasn't. She didn't text me. It didn't seem like an emergency situation. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll call her right back. And then when I did call her back, I learned that she had dialed 911, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let me just start by saying we have really large squirrels in our backyard. Okay. Okay, we have, and, and we're in Los Angeles, and these squirrels are uh, bold. Radioactive? They're bold. And my kids have fed these squirrels uh, basically from the palms of their hand. I don't think it's actually gotten exactly to that point yet, but it's gotten where... Tips of the fingers, maybe? Very, very close to essentially having these squirrels eat out of their hands. Okay. It's a good relationship. My kids are entertained. The squirrels are fed. It's probably illegal to feed them, so just scratch that. They don't feed them. Legally, they do not feed them. Okay? Okay. Why would it not be legal to feed a, a squirrel in your California, yard? everything's illegal. Okay, so... So just in case... You're just making this up. Yeah, just in case. My wife, I, I need an out. They call that an out. Give okay. yourself an out. My wife and my children were inside the house, and my wife suddenly hears the back door creak and slam. She's like, is, is Rhett, did Rhett come inside? Is Rhett home? And she goes into the kitchen, and there she sees a very large, very dominant <laughs> squirrel. On the floor? He's on the floor, staring her down. She freaks. Did she? Did he have a weapon? He was not armed. Was he clothed? He was no. He was a naked squirrel. Like so he was just a normal squirrel. Yeah, nothing, nothing exciting other than the fact that he looked big and threatening. Apparently, <laughs> okay. She runs into the. She's like, "Boys, get into the study." So and this is like our little extra room. They get into the study, and she closes the door behind. She closes them all in there. And of course, my three-year-old and my eight-year-old boy are like, "Mom, there's what? There's a squirrel? Can look? Can we go see him? We want like we want to get out there. We want to interact with this thing." And she's like, "No, he could be rabid. She thinks this squirrel could be rabid because he is so bold to have come into our house." And I don't know how he slammed the door. I don't know how, where that comes in. He Well, he took his foot and he went like that and he slammed it. I mean, that's a smart squirrel. Was he foaming at the mouth? She didn't have time to process that. Like old yeller type situation? So she tells me later, she's like, I dialed 911. I'm like, what, you dialed 911? It was a squirrel. Even if it was a rabbit squirrel, I don't think this warrants calling 911. She said, well, I didn't, I wasn't calling 911 to speak about an emergency. I was calling 911 because I thought that they would, they could transfer me to animal control. Oh. Which I guess is not that, you know. Which if you're lonely, they can transfer you to a dating service. So she said, they, you know, they say 911, what's your emergency? She was like, well, it's not exactly an emergency. You know, they could probably get that all the time. Well, it's not exactly an emergency. I, I, I lost $5 in, in the arcade. <laughs> and, you know, the guy's not responding to me. Can you get the cops over here? <laughs> yeah. But it was, she said, can you connect me to animal control? And, uh. And what did the what did the operators at this point? I'm kind of picturing you know how you watch the like six o'clock news, and they'll show like a waveform, and you'll hear the nine. We have we have the audio from the nine one one call. Let's roll that. Well, and then I, I kind of wish that 
that can happen here. Well, I'm sure that it exists somewhere. Well, well, it does. It's in the archives, and legally, we could get it. It's public domain. Anyone out there could go find I it. I think you have to have a warrant. I think you have to be a cop to, to get now, that. How did the news, the news because outlets get Because they're it. released. The tapes are released. Right, so I'm just picturing. They're not going to release this. This could one. be, uh, no, this could. This is worthy of, like, not the top of the hour, My but wife at the called bottom of the hour. My wife called 911 the other day about a squirrel. Woman calls 911 because of squirrel. So, more news at 11. <laughs> that would get viewers. It would be like right before it goes to the 11. But this news. is what she ended up doing because well, she she opens the door to go back and investigate again to, to see. Well, no, actually, she goes out into the back and she opens the back door. So now she can go and flush him out the back door from whence okay. he came. Did right? the 911 operator tell her to do this? I don't know. We, I need to get more details from her because I'm not sure what happened once she was connected. I just know that they didn't come out. I think they didn't when, send a fire truck. I think when they said this is not really an emergency, they hung up on her. That's probably true because they actually need to talk to those type of people. Well, she opens the door and then she goes back around and kind of peeks into the kitchen and she he is now eating. The squirrel is now eating a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Is he like laying like this? No, he, he didn't make it for himself. Now that would be. <laughs> That would be really impressive. My wife had made a sandwich. My three-year-old had eaten 75% of it, and the squirrel was like, well, heck, she knew I was coming. I'm going to eat this. She, kn- she right. knows I love peanut butter and banana sandwiches, and he was eating the sandwich and just kind of looking at her like, what's up? Um, and then as she kind of approaches him, well, actually, she, she was scared again because he's, he's right. making himself known. He's eating. So she called 911 again and said, now he's eating a sandwich. He went out. I think after he had his fill, he went out. He saw the door had been open for him, and he went out. We haven't seen him since. I'm cool. Thanks for the sandwich. I got what I need. I let myself out. Actually, I slammed the door behind me. If you could, if you could turn the knob, I'll just be on my way. Peace. I'll be back tomorrow. It's a California squirrel. I see cool. I see where you're going with that. Now, this reminds me of a story... In my house, every night I would go to sleep. This is back in North Carolina. I would hear rustling in the attic. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And I was kind of afraid. I dialed 911. No, yeah. I, I didn't. I open my attic. I go up there. I climb the stairs. Not the thing. Go up there. Lo and behold, I find out there's a bird fluttering around up there in my attic. He's nested. Is he caught or is he nested? There were like exhaust holes on the side of my house where you turn your fan on from your from your bathroom and it sucks the air out. Oh, yeah. They flew into that and then poked a, poked a hole into the, the plastic and then came into the attic and said, look, it's like a huge nest here. This is a complex plan. The whole, yeah, they infiltrated my attic. I say they because I thought there was more than one, but when I got up there. There was just one. I, I went up there and I couldn't see anything and I would, and I would turn the light on and it would just, get, things would get still, but I would turn the light off and you would hear a <laughs> fluttering everywhere. In the dark. In the dark. And then I would turn the light on, pull cord, totally quiet. Smart bird. So then I went back downstairs, I got a headlamp, and I didn't have a... Like I th- a, like I th- a spelunker's lamp? Yeah, or a spelunker. And I thought that Lily had like a butterfly net, I couldn't find it, so I took a laundry basket. That That's smart. It was a regular laundry basket, and then we had this other thing that kind of looked like a mesh lid. So I was gonna. T- I took the laundry basket, headlamp, and the lid, and I was gonna catch the thing and put the lid on it and bring it down. And then I go up there and it's, I turn the light off and it's fluttering around. I turn on my headlamp and it's and I use that uh, the red LED infrared and it didn't. It it kept fluttering around and I saw it land and I looked over there and it was a blackbird with the needle sharp beak about it. I mean, like this a crow. It was smaller than a crow with like a needle for a beak. And, I, and so then I hit, it, I hit it with the light and I was turning it and all of a sudden the light changed to the LED light and the bird came right at me. Like, and, and like, and it's coming right at me and I'm like trying to reach, the, I didn't. He's like, finally, a way out. Yeah, and the, like the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And I'm, I'm struggling to turn the light off and the bird comes right at me and you know, Boom, I, I, I fall back in oh, my oh, attic. Oh, did the bird hit you in the face? No, but I was afraid. I think the you, laundry you, basket. You made it seem like the bird hit you in no, the face. It was coming right at me. Based on his beak, I think he would have just boing, I, I stuck know. right in your it, forehead. It looked so sharp. And so then I totally failed. I hit myself in the face with the laundry basket. And I just come back downstairs and Christy's like, did you get it? And I'm like, no. 
And then I just decided, I decided to use my brain a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your bird I, brain. <laughs> <laughs> I, opened, I left the attic open. And it was, this was at night. And I turned, I opened the front door of my house. So the attic comes down. Then you go down the stairs to the first floor. And then you go out the front door. And I opened, I made a pathway. And then I turned all the lights in the house off. And I turned the light on the outside of the house, the porch light, on. And it just waited. Really? It this just, worked? And then after about 10 minutes, I hear a, fuh, 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 and he flew all the way out. He flew down the stairs and he, out the yep, house? he flew all the way out. And thank goodness I didn't turn that headlamp back on because he could have put my eye out. Did you like go to ask.com or something? Like, how did you know that, that, know to do this? I just, this is like a, a, Yahoo, nine, a Yahoo Answers kind of thing? 911, I called 911. That's remarkable. When animals attack, man, has an animal ever gotten caught in your house like a squirrel or a bird or a, a gorilla or anything? Let us know in the comments. How do you, how do you deal with that? Have you ever called 911 for something that you're embarrassed to tell people about? This is the perfect place to come clean. Tell us in the comments or leave a video response. If there's an animal trapped in your house right now, Turn on your video camera, turn on your headlamp, video it, and send that to us. And open the front door, open the attic, turn on off all the lights, turn on the exterior light, and then just wait. Yeah. So apparently that works. Just wait. Let's end this episode. Here we go. Oh, slow spin. A anybody, any, you know. An easy spin. When in doubt, dial 911, you know? And just be honest. It's not an emergency, yeah, but I'm, I'm just kind of at yeah, a loss. That's bad advice. Don't dial 911 in an emergency only. I'm just trying to make just feel a little bit, oh, bit better about what gosh. you did. Sing a Beatles song while holding each other's noses. I don't really want to touch your nose, but you know, I'll do it for this. Let me let me wipe it first because really, I'm not gonna put my fingers in your in your nostrils. I'm don't, just holding yeah, it on the don't, outside. Don't don't clog it up. Just hold it. But yeah. all right, but let's decide what song we're gonna sing. There's lots of bird songs. Like I don't I don't know a lot of Beatles songs. Blackbird, blackbird hiding in my attic at night. Let's just sing yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now I need a place to hide away. You don't know the words to yesterday? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm oh I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. me. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Not yesterday. Cover up my eyes. You realize that, right? <laughs> I'm not doing that to you. Because <laughs> I'm not a moron. <laughs> Turn on the light, baby. It'll go out the door. Mm, mama bird laid some eggs up there. I didn't mind that much. She raised them in my quaff till them birdies flew off. And we still keep in touch.